Mike Quincy, Channeling His Higher Self, December 15, 2023. Mike Quincy. I thought it appropriate to send this message out again at this special time as a boost for everyone and a reminder of what is to come. I last issued it in 2018 and now it seems more appropriate as the proof of coming changes is already taking place. Questions put to the Andromedan Council the 27th of November 2011. How will Earth people change as we become new 4D humans? Answer. The most important thing to realize is that the transformation, the transition from 3D to 4D, from being a 3D person to a 4D person will be a smooth, seamless, painless process. This experience will be a simple transformation of cellular structure, from the slower and more dense heavier existing 3D vibratory body you have today, to a higher, faster, lighter 4D vibratory rate. You will have a body that is taller, literally lighter in terms of mass, weight and density, about one-tenth of what you weigh now. Keep in mind your body's molecular cellular structure will actually change. Think crystal-based molecules. Your existing 3D cell walls will transmute into being crystalline-based. Your 4D body will be based on crystalline molecules, no longer carbon-based, but crystal-based. Within the core, the center of each cell, it will be infused with light. Your 4D bodies will really be very translucent. This is a natural fourth dimensional, fourth density state. Everyone will be relatively tall and slim in stature. This is simply the nature of having a crystalline cellular structure. You will also be lighter in terms of being infused with light, not opaque as you are like today, not completely translucent, but very translucent. Your children will transform as well. But in terms of age appearance they will continue to develop as young adults, only now along the adjusted, normal, timeline of thousands of years for fourth dimensional people. For most adults who chose to remain on Earth during this time of change, you will look approximately in the 32 to 35 year old age range. In terms of height, for a comparison, an average 3D male will be about 7 feet tall, this is the average height for a 4D man. A 5 feet 5 inches to 5 feet 6 inches 3D Earthwoman will likely be about 6 feet 2 inches living a 4D life. An average 4D Earthman will weigh in Earth terms about, 10 to 15 pounds. An average 4D Earthwoman will weigh about, 5 to 7 pounds. Everyone will be relatively trim, tall, slim in stature. Again this is due to the nature of having a body composed of a crystalline cellular structure. In terms of overall health, 4D Earth humans will be healthy, very healthy, full of light. With your solar system and Earth's migration into the fourth dimension zone of space, 3D diseases will all be literally eradicated. If we are this healthy, and with the eradication of 3D Earth diseases, how long will we live as 4D Earth humans? Answer. You will like this answer. Typically, as you currently measure time on Earth, human beings living a 4D life spend a minimum of 6,000 years, to a maximum of 10,000 years, living a fourth dimensional life. Also understand, that there are 12 octaves of awareness and learning in each dimension, from the 4D fourth dimension on up. There is a lot to experience. Please keep in mind the use of these numbers in years, is to give you an approximation based on how Earth people measure time today. However, also keep in mind the way you currently measure time on Earth. This will change once Earth becomes a completely 4D planet. Watching, measuring, experiencing time, this will virtually go away. In any case, you will live very, very long lives before you move on to the 5D, 5th dimension. The plan for this to completely come into effect was originally by the 20th of January 2014. We understand the complete curing of physical health. But again, what about people with autism, retardation, syndromes, people who are mentally ill? Answer. I certainly understand the seriousness of this issue. 
the medical healthcare team on the primary biosphere who will help, assist and counsel people who are having a difficult time adjusting to the differences of fourth dimensional life, and in addition what we would consider either severe psychiatric, deep emotional issues, shock or trauma, or people with autism, retardation, syndromes, varying degrees of mental illness, people with these afflictions who you are rightfully concerned about, they have the ability to choose, or a responsible party can choose for them, to heal their fine matter consciousness, this thing we call, the mind, where these issues are lodged. Please understand this is literally a spiritual vibratory issue, and the medical healthcare team on the primary biosphere, or any of the other eleven Andromeda Council flagged biospheres stationed in Earth's solar system, these teams can use various resonating sonic frequencies and techniques to attenuate, adjust and correct the dysfunctions, and repair the broken pathways of the fine matter wiring of these people's minds. There are a variety of modalities that can be used in combination to help cure these people. They are curable. It will take some counseling, a little extra care and gentle attention after the medical work and attunements are done and completed. These people, like everyone else, will be fine. If our current bodies are transforming into new 4D bodies, and you have said that 3D Earth diseases will be eradicated, what about those of us with bad or missing teeth, various syndromes, muscular dystrophy, ALS, cerebral palsy, or those people with mental illness, those of us who are back from the various wars with missing hands, fingers, arms, legs? What about all of us? Answer. From the Chief Medical Officer of the Andromeda Council Biosphere she says, many people have asked this kind of question. Yes, transformation of your 3D body into a 4D body will eradicate the existing illnesses and all diseases, and your bodies including birth defects, various syndromes, your loss of limbs, bad or missing teeth, malfunctioning hearing or defective eyes, and old age, all of these will all be remedied. Again, remember you are being transformed. You will have a full, complete, healthy body. What do you mean we move on to the 5D, onto the fifth dimension, when do we die? Answer. No, no, you misunderstand. That's the point. You don't die. Remember, time doesn't exist from the 4D, fourth dimension on upwards. You don't experience time. And people, Earth people living a 4D life do not die. A person can choose by really extraordinary circumstances to be extinguished, but this is very, very rare. When a 4D person gets to the point when he or she is 6,000 to 10,000 years old, when he or she feels they have learned enough and contributed enough to society, when the moment is right for them, they simply choose to move on, and transition to 5D, the fifth dimension, a slightly higher frequency of vibratory awareness. For a new set of challenges, a new set of learning experiences. It is a transition, a change in vibration. This transition from 4D, the 4th, to 5D, the 5th, is simply about moving into a higher vibration and capabilities, when the moment is right for him, her. Further, the actual capabilities one has once he, she becomes a 5D, a fifth-dimensional human, are only a couple of degrees enhanced above the upper capabilities of the 4D, the fourth dimension. In any case, moving on from one dimension to the next is only about having many experiences, learning many, many things and then making a simple choice to move on, to change. You do not die, I repeat, you do not die, but experience a transition to a new lighter body. End of message. We look forward to enjoying all of the benefits that a new age can bring us. The Andromedans are one of the four main groups of extraterrestrials that are closely connected to us and our development. It is very uplifting to know that our future path is already in place, there may be quite a way to go yet but it is getting nearer. The light on Earth is increasing and drawing away from all that is of the lower vibrations, and evidence that the changes have already commenced are the increasing number of extra-tall young people well over six featuring tall that are already here.
think positively and help the continuation of the higher vibrations and a peaceful future as quick as possible. Have a happy Christmas and New Year, in love and light. Mike Quincy. My next message will be on Friday the 12th of January 2024.